Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm here to tell you why every BMW owner needs to remove their steering wheel on their BMW immediately. And this isn't clickbait, this isn't a joke either. And I'm gonna be showing you why you need to remove your steering wheel because it is becoming an increasing common, common, common problem. Well, especially here in the UK, and I've been seeing quite a few in the US now because of the value they actually hold. So let's get on to this video. God damn, get it done for you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, guys. So I know many of you were probably expecting this because as many of you guys probably commented on many of my videos, the only thing you have left is a steering wheel on your car. But this is no joke. This video is going to relate for many of you guys with BMWs. And this is simply because this is becoming an increasing common, common problem. Something you're seeing in the news here, something you're seeing, you know, all over YouTube. I know many of you US guys wouldn't have probably seen these videos because it's a UK thing. And unless it's in the US, it won't be probably pushed to you. But that's why I'm gonna be showing you what's actually happening here. Now, many of you think you're actually safe for your BMWs and that's mostly true, you know, they're a luxury car. They've got alarms, they've got immobilizers, they've got it all but that still doesn't stop people doing what they're doing. Now, you can go and put a whole big steering lock around your steering wheel, you know, to protect it. It still ain't gonna stop what's actually happening. You know, many people have tried that, tried putting one that locks steering wheel, you know, on the slant, I don't know what you call them, then sideways steering locks. You also got them big round ones that completely cover the steering lock, but people just do not care. People are still doing what they're doing with these cars. Now, I'm not talking about theft of the car because that's old, people ain't interested in that because obviously with cars, they can be tracked. There's basically cars are useless when they're being stolen because obviously they've got an engine number, a chassis number. And you know, sooner or later, the police end up finding cars that have been built out of all stolen cars. Like there's many in the UK, you know, made out of six to seven cars of all different car parts that have been stolen or broken down and the engine's put in it. There's a, new, a wing from the other car, you know, bonnet from the other car, wheels from another car, and it's all put together to make a sellable car and to get a new V5C. Now, the bit I'm actually talking about is the steering wheel and obviously the whole steering column together. Now, if you don't know what I'm going on about, I'm gonna be showing you this quick clip right here. And now, as you're seeing there, many of you probably wouldn't have seen it clearly, but what these guys were doing, and it's a very common problem, and I'm gonna show you many other clips in a second, is they're breaking into people's cars, no matter what car it is, whether it's an F20, an F30, an F10, no matter what car you've got, but it's mostly common on the four series and the M4s, and they're literally just ripping out the whole steering wheel with the steering column. Now, they're not only taking the steering wheel and the steering column, because they're so easy to gain access to, they're actually removing the speedo as well. And if they can, they'll take the whole MBT unit. Now, the reason they're doing that here in the UK, and obviously, as you would have seen, this is increasingly common, especially in London. Um, it's just going around like wildfire at the moment where everyone's doing it. The reason they're stealing them is purely because them steering wheels are so expensive. If you guys remember when I did my M135i, I paid 800 pounds just for the Alcantara steering wheel, and that wasn't even the M Performance one. Now, the MBT Evo, kit is very, very expensive because people highly desire it for a retrofit. You know, it's very highly desirable. And the same with the digital speedo, you know, the extended instrument cluster, everyone wants them, especially from the G30s as well, because they're all digital and you can sell them on the black market, which is eBay and everywhere else, for very, very expensive. So it's worth the weight in gold. And it's not like a stolen car, you can't get rid of it. But these parts, because they can be virginianized, you can clear all the VIN from them, clear the mileage, Police have got no trace of it because they wouldn't have known what serial number was on the back of that cluster to begin with. Who in their right mind is gonna be taking their parts of, out of their car to be looking at the serial number to take notes of them in case they're stolen because people ain't even gonna think it's even possible. But that's truly what's happening. People are Virginiaizing them. They don't know. They get sold on eBay for a grand anywhere upwards and then they're in the money. And the same with the MBT retrofit kit, you know, they go for about 1,800 to 2,000 pounds alone. So when people are taking the whole unit and the head unit itself, they're sending them for two grand. The steering wheel is around 1,500 pound. 
and especially the M Performance one, you know, the normal Alcantara one, if it's heated and vibrated, that one goes for about eight to 900 pound. And the reason they know if it's got that whole M Performance pack, the reason they target M4s, M3s with that is purely because when they rip the whole column out, which they only leave the actual column itself, no steering wheel, no column, all the wiring's ripped out. They take the whole stalks, the lot, is because most of them have a heat steering wheel switch as well. So you've also got the heat in steering wheel button. Now, one thing that did obviously shock me when I actually saw that is to think, wow, did my kit, because I bought the, you know, the heated steering wheel switch and the steering wheel actually come from a stolen car? Because obviously I bought it on eBay. You know, I wouldn't have thought about it, but now seeing these videos, it makes me think, because I bought it from the same seller and it come with both of them. Did he actually remove it from a car? Because who in their right mind even wants to sell that if you've got that on your car? And why would you be breaking an M4 or an M3 to remove that? Because I know they only come on them cars. So it just made me, it threw me off a bit after seeing that video that I may have gave, you know, some kind of thief money for something that he's stolen. But in the same sense, I did get my steering wheel cheap. So it makes me question as well, was it cheap for a reason? Um, you just don't know, you know? I, I, I can't tell you if it was stolen or not because I just wouldn't know. And this is the same for a lot of people who have it stolen on a regular basis, you know, that they don't know if their one is actually the one on eBay. You just don't know. So it's very hard for police to track it, very hard for you to track it, very hard for BMW to track it. And if you don't have a warrant in your car, you don't have full insurance that's gonna cover the cost of it, you're screwed, basically. You've got a car with no steering wheel, no cluster, and no MBT. Only true, the alarms go off. But, you know, there's many experts out there, including myself, that know how to disable the alarm very quickly. You know, the alarms start beeping off, but obviously it only takes one tool to completely disable them, and I can do that very, very quickly myself. Obviously, that's why, you know, a lot of you guys always ask me, can I show you how to do this? Can I show you how to do that? To be honest, the question for that is actually no, um, and that's purely because of this reason. You know, putting that kind of information on YouTube is what leads people to be able to do what they're doing today and making people's heart life a lot harder. And especially when we're in a cost of living crisis, that's the last thing people want is to have their steering wheel, speedo, MBT, you know, shifter, whatever it is, stolen. So why am I therefore gonna go and put these videos out showing you guys that, yes, you guys might be genuine. You may actually want to do this to your car genuinely, but there's people that will use this information wrongly and if it's used wrongly, it can cause an inconvenience to others. You know, you've got to think of the mothers that have got to take their kids to school in the morning and wake up with no steering wheel and can't get their kids to school. They might have to travel five to 10 miles. You've got to think about the people that need to go to work in the morning. You've got to think about the people, you know, who are dis who've got a disabled family member or someone sick in hospital. You've got many different reasons of why this is an inconvenience for people and why it's absolutely disgusting. You know, these people that are actually doing this kind of crap, Realistically, a slap on the wrist is really, really not enough. They really need to bring back, you know, where they would cut people's hands off if they did stuff like that, because I find it absolutely disgusting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload more clips right here so you guys get to see. So I'm here at the BMW dealership. And for everyone who wanted to know what it looks like after it's stolen, here you go, that's it. Now, I put the light on, you can see that the clips are snapped. So the whole thing was literally just yanked. So for all you doubters, insurance scammers, dickheads, I'm in the BMW dealership right now. Anyone else want to see anything else? Here's your update. <sighs> They've ripped the whole thing off and it's just crap. And do you know who's to blame for this? BMW. Because how are people even able to rip a whole steering wheel and the column straight out with that much ease? Within two, four minutes, the steering wheel is literally yanked out of the car. How is that even possible? What were BMW doing when they put these cars together? I know people say the F-Series is the best chassis since the, you know, the E-Series cars, since the E39, but this is absolutely ludicrous. To rip out a steering wheel with a steering column and just be able to take it in no time at all is mental. And the, sorry for the poor guy who I saw, 
who actually had this done to him and he's in the police station because people didn't believe him and he showed a video showing, you know, it wouldn't be in the police impound for no reason and all the wires are just left there hanging where they're torn the whole thing out. How it come out is besides me, you know, you've got a steering wheel nut that actually holds it onto the column and they still managed to take that straight off. I have no idea, guys. But as I said, guys, if you do have, you know, any F20, F30, F10, any kind of F-series car whatsoever, do make sure to, you know, just keep your steering wheel safe. I mean, there is no safe way of keeping it safe apart from putting it in a garage, you know, but even then you've got the comfort access side of things where people are robbing cars through comfort access. The best way to actually keep your steering wheel safe in this day and age is to remove it. That's the best way and the safest way to actually keep your steering wheel safe to stop these kind of people robbing your steering wheel. Just take your steering wheel off. It takes five minutes to remove it. If they can remove it in five minutes, you can remove it in five minutes. And guess what, ain't it better that you have the steering wheel inside your house than some other, you know what, robbing your steering wheel and reselling it on eBay. So you know, I'm quite fortunate where I've got my garage, where I've got land. My cars were actually kept here so nobody could access them. Nobody would even be able to get them out because I've got automatic bollard, so you wouldn't even be able to drive out of here anyway with them, so they wouldn't get nowhere. But for others that don't have that and the majority of these kind of cars having this done are on the roadside, out of people's way. People don't have a driveway, they're leaving them on the road, they're coming out, windows smashed, steering wheel's gone, speedo's gone, and whatever else is gone out the car as well. And they don't care, the alarm's going off, they're fully covered up. And I get most people ain't gonna wanna go out there and face someone like that because it is quite intimidating and scary. So for those of you who don't know about this going around, please, please get this video shared and make awareness of it of the people who ain't aware because as this is happening more and more, you know, it's gonna inconvenience a lot of good people who actually do not deserve this to actually happen to them. So thank you very much for watching guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.